Howdy YouTube, Joshman here. Let's take a look at uh, the monkey beaver saddle again, shall we? It's been enough time on the monkey beaver saddle, I figured I'd do a, a follow up to the first impressions, do a, a better review of it and pros and cons of it, which there aren't. There aren't many, many cons. So let's take a, let's take a closer look at it. So we got up close here. It's uh, very similar because it's uh, like most most of you know, it's a new tribe, new tribe saddle, uh, like the uh, the Onyx, basically on steroids. From Mr. August Hunnicky and uh, Joe Boyd and Casey, the main guy at New Tribe, uh, kind of all collaborated on the design. Um, things I like about it: uh, it's light. Um, it used to be sold on uh, TreeStuff.com originally, and I think Cheryl and I believe it, they listed it at 4.5. 4.5 pounds. I emailed August. Uh, he didn't remember exactly. He said it is under five. So we'll say four, four and a half. But uh, right away, I love these uh, ISC uh, quick snap buckles, both on the bridge or the waist and the uh, leg, the leg uh, loops, leg pads. Those are uh, nice, quick, easy on, easy off. My last uh, all gear saddle had the same buckles, so right away a, a pro over that all gear saddle I had is uh, this webbing is uh, slightly softer, more supple compared to the all gear saddle. It had stiffer webbing, so uh, the all gear. Uh, it would tend to loosen up very very quickly into your climb this one stays put right where you set it and so you can snug her up good and you don't even need suspenders like for a big saw a 372 or what's the equivalent a 461 steel something like that hanging off you uh, it's it's uh, it doesn't drag your saddle down but my all gear anything uh, even the top handle would drag it down sometimes and besides that too, there was no, uh, on the all gear, there was no suspender attachment. So there's another perk I like is the suspender attachments, which I keep my, uh, for now, you know, retrieval, retrieval ball there. And the other suspender. Yeah. Got a custom made, uh, pouch from a buddy. And there, I guess, would be another, uh, a gear loop or something and um, two uh, I wish they only asked for one of the only cons these are awesome I just almost wish they were uh, maybe just slightly I know they had to make it leave an option for a, a tool and maybe you guys that are uh, left-handed with their saw or something uh, stow it on the left side but maybe these up moved up just a hair easier uh, access and p painted red to kind of go with the scheme of the saddle but that's a uh, you know that's just a cosmetic thing but uh, I dig too that uh, I'm kind of matchy here with the uh, ART positioner and Samson BRW and the monkey beaver comes with BRW on the bridge comes with a large ring large uh, black uh, I believe ISC ring but uh, I didn't dig that for uh, the rope runner and the akimbo I don't have uh, swivels swivels like the zigzag does so I, I prefer this little uh, petzl 
this petzl swivel on my bridge because I can hook my zigzag in right here and now I still have the swivel action with the zigzag or I'm good with the SRT devices uh, swivel action love the uh, I think nowadays uh, rigging plates for the bridge attachment are a must so you can have lower attachment points I do prefer those it's very comfortable uh, on a spar even going up it works beautiful so there's another perk I think the best uh, the best uh, two features I think that are kind of like uh, why I highly recommend this uh, saddle would be the uh, the set it and forget it waist the, the comfortable wide back and the fact that it doesn't loosen up on you and you can handle uh, larger saws um, without it sliding down that's a that's a big factor but I think like my best favorite uh, my favorite feature is these leg pads so I guess if you were to go with the uh, new trap onyx you'd probably be getting a similar experience but these are like game changers to me compared to the thinner the smaller narrower style leg loops these you don't even feel feel uh, while you're you're moving and I'd, um, I guess a third a third feature I like is uh, how easy how quick it is on and off especially off once you uh, you come out come out of the the tree or uh, whoops, please. Or you have, you know, riding the ball of the crane, and you made your uh, your pick, your cut from the bucket truck, and uh, you can come on down and just real quick uh, drop the sucker off. Even these extra two snaps uh, aren't that that big a deal. And uh, I am, uh, I guess, for those curious, this is a medium two, and I average uh, like 33, 34 waist depending on how many cheeseburgers or ice creams or winter winter weight so this is a medium and it's almost there's not much more adjustment so possibly i could have went with a small but it works fine i just either i tuck the extra back under the waist uh buckle and just let it let it hang down like that or just a figure eight kind of to take up that uh, that extra slack, and it's not really a, a nuisance. There it doesn't get in the way, but uh, yeah, quick on and off, and yeah, this waist holy oh, smokes. But, uh, and these these uh, lower buckles are just to help to keep the uh, the leg pads into position. But yeah, when you're moving moving uh, up in the tree and stuff climbing it's like it really feels like you're not wearing uh anything at all other than maybe you know feeling the saw hanging off you but just uh the other saddles i've a couple other i've tried uh, you can always tell that there's uh leg loops around you and then especially when you're hanging in them they can uh they can pinch the old uh jimmy buffett's there sometimes so uncomfortable this you can hang in it's almost like a lazy boy recliner you can uh can hang in it all day so yeah quick uh on off i do uh see like here it is just a little bit of a sort of a stretch so the way i prefer with hanging my uh saw off the right let's see off the right side uh, I could have done with these two gear loops just moved uh, up a little closer, but it probably does There is the potential to clip your uh, Safety uh, lanyard into maybe that by accident That's why a different color would would have been nice, but other than that really I I don't there hasn't been any drawbacks to this None that I can think of it's lightweight ultra comfortable hanging in it, it is amazing yeah, game changer. Highly recommend it to everyone. Uh, keep the. I can still uh, position here. I like to keep that quickie link uh, in real close proximity there. Quick access. So yeah, I mean going up a a conifer or something. I kind of will use the side positioning, but I've been more and more uh, using the uh, just 
I keep that there, stowed there, but, uh, oopsie. More and more using the, uh, lower, lower, uh, D's for positioning. And, yeah, I really, really dig that. Super comfy. Especially with these, these leg pads. Oh, yeah, quick, quick off, too, we wanted to demonstrate. Not even really trying to hurry, but just boom. All right, now you can get to to groundwork, cleaning up, helping clean up. For those of you that that do still do that, just for those who are curious, because I know there's a, a lot of gear junkies. So what we're uh, just uh, you know what I'm equipped with here. We got the Haas, the Haas uh, Velox, and I got her just, uh, the slack tucked up here and this accessory beaner to clip into the, uh, the Yard Pros for that. And I got an ISC Strider foot ascender. I love it. Um, I was using the CT Quick Step before and they're very similar. I think I like this better because the construction. Uh, feels a little bit more rugged like that's not gonna break like the CT had issues and uh, that's the, the webbing that was a spike I believe a, a spur uh, Wound there, but the webbing feels also a little more durable and you can still do the uh, foot if you want to uh, Release it with your foot So uh, Haas uh, Anyways, those are these are really only on uh, those aren't always on. These are always on. Uh, my Sterling Tri-Tech. What's that? 14 feet. 14 and some change. Came with the ISC Triple Action, which I do love these. And those do occasionally uh, have that issue where they may not close. So you do got to be diligent about checking that. But uh, these are awesome. I love them. And then uh, since uh, the zigzag re entirely replaced... Uh, um, the hitch cord uh, as far as uh, climbing on then uh, I re repurposed my uh, uh, hitch climber to be my positioner and then so I can still have me a nice uh, secondary short secondary DRT for a better positioning to throw on the bridge and we can uh, toss that around toss that around and uh, you know now we got that extra or uh, if I want to as well on the lower D's. I really love this setup. I believe that's a catalyst hitch too, yeah. And I couldn't tell you how to retie it, so. <laughs> catalyst hitch, which really is uh, awesome. Sets, it tends beautifully after fully loaded and uh, sets instantly. So one of my favorite hitches, if I still had to climb and hitch cord would be that one but um then we got our of course i love really love this this could almost uh i won't make an, a separate video for this but uh it is it almost deserves its own the price point uh i can't remember what was it two something for that it scares a lot of people off but instantly the first time you use it it's uh you, you forget about the price it's amazing i love this it's my favorite uh so yeah, that's how I love how too it matches the beaver, the monkey beaver saddle. Not that that's real crucial, but um, then we got our transporter, uh, Rock Exotica transporter, which is also kind of matchy, and our Teufelberger uh, anti-shock saw lanyard, which I really love, and that's going to be a separate video for that for those interested, and that's uh, attached to the. The saw attachment point that comes comes with the saddle. The saw attachment point that comes with it, I've been digging that for um, my saw, my hand saw, my silky. See there, I like that. Uh, it's it actually has been pretty uh, streamlined and it doesn't interfere with my top handle hanging there. Like both are, uh, the top handle hangs down lower. So, uh, the saw is uh, relatively easy access when I'm using it. I 
I have the uh, the little safety buckle uh, snapped snapped to the back side, so that's, that doesn't interfere or get cut. That's uh well, and then this accessory beaner just to hold either the slack of my lanyard or other like crane slings, if it's a crane job or um, just whatever, maybe tying a rigging rope or a couple like rigging hardware, and usually another uh, accessory beaner or two or whatever hanging off. These have been really handy, so I think that covers covers everything. Uh, highly highly recommend this saddle. So visit, visit uh, if you're in the market for one. Uh, you, I think this will cover uh, everything. You know, removals and pruning. It's a total package. It's lightweight, comfortable, um, relatively easy adjustment too. For as far as your bridge positioning, there's a whole. Uh, August has a video on that. A couple of videos actually. So uh, check out check out August's uh, channel for more. Uh, in-depth uh, discussions about the saddle so thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one